of the 2019 Grand Finals. A best of five between Team Liquid and OG. I'm Odie Pixel here with Fog. Then out comes the Pugna, and then they say, well, we're going to switch it around. We're going to bring out the Meepo. Again, I mean, no sound. It's going to take quite a bit of damage in response to this time with the Ghost of the Anchor Smash. Trying to run away with the Tango. He's going to look for the neutral creep tonight. He's not going to get it. GH. Able to get that first blood taking down No Tail. And Thompson knows that he has dove as far as he can. Or has he? Still looking at an opportunity to get in on GH as he'll look to cut down the trees. GH. He's going to find the Avalanche. Thompson, he persists. He continues the chase. He sees the opportunity. And he's just getting so much done. This tiny just can't stop killing people. And he's going mid again. And they're already pressuring the tower with the siege creep here. While Ana just continues to farm up top. Ana does not have... He does actually have mana for the haunt if he does use the soul ring. Another ravage in mid. Mind control is going to come in with a quick setup onto Jax. A mail hit from Miracle will do the job. Now they look for the body Seb. blocks on the set. Smash there from the Hellbear. Liquid will punish OG. And yeah, level 12 in comparison to Thompson, who has been running around. As you expect, he will be starting yeah. to get behind the level. he's got... The duration of control with these roots. One more will be out, but there's the backup. No tail. He's able to set up a beautiful sleep. One for the three of them. Jags and Thompson here as well. They'll look to burst him. He cannot escape for the avalanche from Thompson. He's held down. Also gonna see no tail start to head over. We'll get a few wars down for the vision and back in mid. Thompson was pushing out the wave. Weeha was ready to make the jump. Thompson. Can he get himself out? The avalanche buying him time to get into the trees. The next route will miss, but that one will connect as we are. Has he got the damage? He, he does. Sure does. We are now stunning there. The kills and again, top lane Seb. He just gets run down by this combination of the the tide and the TA. No tails disabled as they'll pick him up, toss him down. Miracle's just starting to walk around with the group. Get these kills after kills. Is about to be back online. He's got to try and get it up, but we are a beautiful net into the trees there. It's going to hold him back, cancel the TP. Should just still have the chance of running away with the dagger. I mean, I said that Weeha's continuing to add the room. We are. He's hitting them every single time. He's held him down. The dagger is there, but there's the E-Blade. We are continues to play around with Anna. And they'll drag him back. GH is there with a the follow-up. A beautiful play wow. from Weeha. The items for Anna are continuing to roll out. Full Manta. The items for everyone else still have ground to a bit of a halt on OG. Setups there onto one of the Meepos, they're going to drop the old down, but already Miracle's Miracle. on the backline. He's, he's dead. dead! He's dead! He wants the BKB, it doesn't matter! They're able to beat him down, and now they look towards We Are, We Are. Impetus! 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 It follows up! Still, he has enough HP to walk the for the torch! Oh Steps in! He's straight on top of We Are! We Are's dead the once, can they do it again? No tell! He's got the spirit out. Backing off, We Are again, yet the main Meepo up onto the safe area of the high ground. Thompson, he's not stopping though. They're holding back a little bit with the E-Blade. E Can they get this kill? We Are again. Boost off to the side, but he's left one up in the high ground. and they need to disable? There is not. He's able to jump back down, get himself away. OG continue to chase. But these roots, these nets, they're holding OG back. Thompson in again with the blink. He needs help. We Are, is he going to get it? The stomp down onto the entire army of Meepos. Hand of God's pop. We Are is trying to turn. Miracle is killed. Jack, the buyback from Miracle. They're turning it around. Liquid. They're gonna try and run. Anna, he's in with the horn, chasing down We Are. He can surely finish this kill off. We Are so low, they can give it a line. Finally, Anna gets We Are. They quit. Bags are looking to continue the cleanup. They'll chase Seb. Seb's heels will not be strong enough. Seb will fall. There's no tell. TP out in the trees gets him away. It's hard, especially Anna. This is really, I guess, the sort of the last tier you want to tackle, Miracle. Gonna head over to try and go for the bounty room. We'll actually be able to grab it, despite the three of them being here, but they look to make him pay. They'll lead in, BKB's popped by Miracle. Anna will continue to chase with the horn. He's following him. He's staying on top of him, making sure that any sort of escape is hard. Mind Control's gonna come in in the back. He's looking to try and draw the attention of the rest of us here. There's the Ravage Pop, and now the turnaround comes into play. Liquid, they'll surround Anna. He don't do that. The Spectre's dead. He's got buyback, but of course with the horn already used, there's no way for him to get back into the fight. So Anna has to sit on the sidelines and just watch as the rest of OG gets bullied heavily by Liquid. The traps are set, set surrounded. We are double kill as OG again struggling where the frustration is felt. Anna feels he has to try and make something happen with the horn. It doesn't go their way. And in fact, mid lane, another attempt to push out Thompson was trying to get the Kree waves away from the base, but we are, he is just everywhere on this map. That cheese gets popped in. Oh, they actually popped the glyph. Jarex isn't able to get that one there with the blast even. He's gonna try again, but Weeha, he's here. Are you just gonna make him pay for it? Or at least try to do so, Jarex. Now, find him once and force to the side, the roots. 
making sure that no glimmer will save him. He gets it to Crepify off, but it doesn't matter. He ticks now to the output of Weeha back towards mid. OG, they've got four dead. Finally, Seb's back in the game. 20 seconds until Anna returns, but obviously a longer cooldown that matters. That 30 seconds before Horde. As even with the Horde we've seen with how far Liquid are ahead, OG no, just struggle to get any fights going in their favor as they'll dive in. Weeha. With all the stats, he's so tanky now in the Meepo that they cannot pull him away. And 36 minutes in, Liquid will finally get themselves into the base, take that bit of ranks. And they do have that Meepo ready to go. They get the toss back on Mind Control. See if they've got the damage to beat him down. No tail offering quite a bit of right clip. A miracle, he's in straight away. Look at the back oh line. He's on top of the ET. And it's going to step forward up for Mind Control. Haunt, pop. Can they get any of these kills? They're on to Miracle, Miracle, BKB. He's trying for the DPM. They okay. have the damage set with the impetus. Takes down TA. And the chase continues. Anna, he found mind control. A second kill here for OG. We are surrounded. Anna, Anna needs the safety jack. He's there. He's the crap to find the heal. Anna is still alive. Seb sits to the side. Throws out the impetus. And we are falling low. GH cannot save him. Oh we are in dead. OG, they'll hold on to the game. They may have lost their ranks, but they team wipe Team Liquid. There'll be a buyback from GH. There's got to be more buybacks if Liquid want to try and force OG away, Jax. More buybacks. He's already up to the high ground. They do have the Ravage still on Mind Control. Mind Control. He's looking for that option. He's stepping in. Stomp from No Tail. Ravage. He does get it out. There's no follow-up, though. It's a bit of a Ravage. And then a death. Mind Control. There's no follow-up. No They've gone in. They've lost two. Oh, God. As Liquid, they throw bodies into the pit. But not enough. Don't get the ages, the cheese, and an agony for no tail. for no tail. They are hidden so far away from Perfect everybody else. They want nothing to do with this meatball right now. Right He's going to go in with the rabbits. They'll be able to get set first. Can they get more Anna? Still not the target they want to find. They want to try and find the easier kills for no tail. He's able to walk this up. But they, they just cannot do it. In every fight, the mana gets so low. Anna. He's healing up. Yeah, there was already, what, two? Two Ghost Scepters and an E-Blade on OG's lineup and a Decrepify. Now they can have a bit more luck on committing for the kills. They'll find Thompson. He's is out. They have the pickoff potential. Anytime the OG is separated with was... Miracle's build sort of coming to completion with the Bloodthorn Nullify. But Thompson was just cutting bottom weight of it looks like there while his team was pushing top. And he just gets caught up, but he has buyback. That'll be a buyback. GH dies very quickly. Mind Control now. Surrounding him. Mind Control. Jumping back. These rainbows, they hurt. As that, I mean, they do not They're have buyback. Bad. They do not have buyback. Neither mind control. OG, this is the last set of racks. Anna still feeling that powerful. There's the buyback from the tide. The melt bash. The foul one outside of the base. That we high tried to step out. The combo, the match for damage isn't going to get him in world. They actually get him. him off. No tails able to catch him before he's able to poof back. Meepo dead. He's going to have to use the buyback. Out it comes. Zana. We'll get the D ward, you continue to push on, taking these racks. Mind Control trying to step forward, but Seb turns towards him. Seb pretty low on the matter, but he's got enough rainbows to bring Mind Control down to about 25% of his HP. And pop the BKB and Miracles, looking for the backlines again. These Ghost Forms are annoying him. The Dispel will be there on to No Tail. Oh, Tops has got the combo, the damage to kill him off. Mind Control is in with the Ravage. They're trying their best to commit on top of Seb. A gush is out. Can they even kill off the Enchilo? They've tried their best on the high ground adder. He has been nullified. The damage output is. It's enough. Again, this single target from Liquid, if they get it going, they can still kill the cause of OG, oh even God. the big old Spectre. As Liquid will hold his three buybacks they have to use. Try to go for more split push. The Liquid, they have to just run it down the mid lane, try to force these buybacks. Aegis, Cheese. Where was it? So at the moment, the Agnims and the Refresher Shard being held by Mind Control. Is yet to consume the Agnims Blessing. Liquid, trying to force out these buybacks. Anna, he's got to buy back. The tier fours are being focused. They're not interested in Mega's Liquid. They're just interested in ending the game. Still holding on to it. The first tier fours down. Liquid, they're gonna be able to get potentially another one out of this. Kuro, falling low, turn with the Penitents. He's still alive off the back of this. Finally, the buyback comes out. The Ancient is exposed. The Ancient's going down. The they're just gonna keep hitting it. Liquid, they've done it. Oh my God. What the end to game one. It looked like Liquid had it in the early game. It looked like they started to throw it away. It looked like OG was on the verge of getting the win. They took everything bar one range drag from Liquid's base. Game two of Liquid versus OG here in the best of five grand finals of the International 2019. Just about to kick off. 
and just keep the nine cream says talk about up. Talk to him. they got the shackle set up mind control chasing no tail down will be able to get back underneath the tower in fact anna's gonna turn chase down mind control and they'll get first blood og it is one of the better ones to actually set up for those ganks as mid, they really want a sandwich on Kuroki. Straight in, but Kuro is going to have to charge the turn upon the shackles. They're doing their best to keep Anna alive. Big swell buffs up, and there's the start. Connecting on a GH, they're ready to die for more. Thompson straight down behind the tower, jumping forward. Look for GH, stuff for the central conqueror with the helm of the dominator. He's keeping GH, finally falling as Thompson gets him. We are now turned towards OG. They managed to take away two. They'll continue to chase. They will lose no tower. but Thompson's back over. Battle is strike down. They'll surround the TA. We are surely will fall. No, they don't have detection. He's got the meld, he'll stay hidden. I'll go for Kuro instead, Miracle. Just a chase for more, another stun indeed from the Sensor Conqueror. The Micro making it real, but Miracle still has to be careful. The Rage has finished and Anna's Flame Guard still persists as they'll chase into the trees. Thompson's got the lockdown, Battle strikes out, Miracle will fall, OG. The three cores just running around as a unit right now for OG, <laughs> looking to kill everybody. I look, look at the map right now. I mean, they're thinking about going look for Look at the more. lanes, the lanes are all open, oh, they're just battling. He's able to chop the tree down, Mind Control. Radiance. Quick for the Lumberjack plays. Gonna stream if he can try to Ravage does get the three of them. Seth's getting burned slow. Heals out in time. We are comes across. Hex lockdowns there for Kuro. They'll get Thompson. They quit. Can they punish OG even more for diving for this? The Inkswell slide of fist again. Mind control. He stunned up. The flame guard. The slide of fist damage is too much for them this early on. Kuro. He's off the wall. He's got the shackles. He's holding him down. Hex is out as well. Kuro. <laughs> Finishes off Anna all by his own. And we are get set as well. OG, all five out of the game as Liquid say, get out of our half of the map. Keep this battle running at them. It's very OG like. They just want to fight. Just to have vision with the rest of this water. Thompson oh set up perfect from the trees. Wukong's come on down. Battle is strike already used. It doesn't matter. He's able to jump forward. Look to chase Miracle. Miracle does get the jukes off. Now it's the movement speed with a phase boost. He'll get himself out across the trees. They'll still try and chase. Top panel is still unavailable for six seconds. So Miracle will actually be able to escape. GH, he comes forward. He starts to have a bit of a punt. Stuns out for Ada. He's in with a wraparound. Change around. Battle strike back up. Slam down onto the Enigma. GH is gone. They're diving up to one. Tears, freeze, OG, they're in the base. They get my control as well. There's still every single tower up in the mid lane. But OG, they're taking the fight to the base. Dude, look at this. Look at this. this is, all the lanes are open. All they want to do is battle. We as well going to get caught out. This is ridiculous. <laughs> And now they're gonna okay, now they're priority. Like, Alright, now we've sandwiched up to a tower. Now we can go for this one. Oh, here. Yeah, hey, does, does anyone else want to take a tower? Yeah, I'll go, I'll go on then. I know that they're around. Take out the Ops Ward as well. Thompson will kill it. But there aren't those big ops, as you mentioned, straight in towards the tier two tower. Anna has no fear as he collapses immediately on top of the TA. We hard surrounded. The control that No Tail offers is too oh much for We hard to withstand at the moment. Jump forward over towards Kuro. Anna just loving the pace that he can play with Thompson by his side, running down hero after hero. Yep, they've got their OGs available. OG, they have their Guardian Angels as well, but seven is relatively low on mana. They stop the rush and they're like, oh, heroes have been spotted. Go for the fight. Miracle is in the mid lane. They're going to go for jump on Miracle. Instant Rage and a back off. Still, they managed to sandwich them. If Liquid can get the Tide and the Enigma in, they could go for a good fight from the low ground. Kuro Miracle. disabled. He traps up no tail in the circle wars. Miracle's the focus. Miracle will fall. They're walking over my control. Tries to get around again, but he can't. Battle strikes out. And no Tyler is embraced again. No tail. Stopping around. Mike Strong could be able to offer the ravage for now. And Anna and Thompson, they're still good to go. Dust is out. They've got the detection prepared. We has left behind. They've taken both cores. They're going to get the third as well by the looks of his OG. They jump over, catch out Mike Control. And they'll also toss back at GH as OG. They just keep killing oh, every God. single member of Liquid over and over again. Three heroes immediately collapsing on you. No, no. Got the vision here. As they'll get in with the setup. Kuro tries his luck, tries to get out. Doing oh. the warning for the team. Jarrus has also found Mike Control. Anna still diving in towards the base as we are. He got Thompson's tree. We are. Tries to turn with the melt here. Thompson's there with the balance. Try We are. He's just dying inside the base. The, the, this mobility is. It's just absurd. Ember's Bird and Monkey King, they're everywhere. This game, I think. It is entirely on GH and Mind Control to make some incredible five-man play. That's yeah. the only way right now. That is really how it feels. And they have they have the BKB Black Hole, which is not counterable for Moji, at least with the stun. But OG tanky. Yeah. And getting into them as well, right? If they have the Wukongs down, lay down, 
He's gonna die if he gets that black hole off. He, he will. And now also, they've got a better way to heal each other and help each other. There's an Aghanims on seven. So that Guardian Angel is gonna provide that massive amount of HP regen as well as that protection from wherever he's gonna be to pop it off. I don't think they're gonna have the damage to do with OG at all. Miracle trying to push into Thompson, but with the items that Thompson has and the buff that he does, Soul Blind's out, they're gonna try and jump forward, the Wukong's come on, it's now Mike Troll off the rabbit, the GA's already out, they've got the black hole, GH pulls those, he's stuck inside the Wukong, three dead on Liquid, OG just beating them down, one by one, the buybacks will come out from both Kuro and Miracle, but both GH and Mike Control are gone without their ultimates and without buybacks, the game continues to worsen for Liquid as OG passed the racks on top of Miracle, tossing him back into the battle. It's triple kill for Thompson. Wow. As OG, this entire game has been a high reel for them. We are, you get something. It's a lot of money, of course, Anna. So that's a little bit of glory for Liquid. Oh, Jarek, it will go down, maybe. No, the heal, they give the red base to Thompson. Extra bit of salt in the wounds there already trying to pull the wave away they from saw mid, but they're chasing that's all we are and and it's on jerex is over there's the e-blade combo coming out a ga to celebrate as the fight continues down bottom making sure that no doubt doesn't go down the two of them soul bound together and is in with the change Bradley strikes down on a miracle miracle cannot get out of this one alive he's dead without buyback my control as well the chase never ends from og 31,000 gold lead so many different items picked up. They're cleaning up the last racks. A dagger even picked I'm up with no tail. He's popped the BKP. He's going to go for the black hole on the two of them. There's the pulse down. In fact, gets Anna as well with the wrap round. But they just don't take any damage at all. GG is called. The suffering will finally come to an end for Liquid in this game too. As OG take the victory. One to one now in this best of five grand finals. Game three ready to go between OG and Liquid. Series stands one to one at the moment. We'll be able to do so. Mind control, of course, getting good fun. Up breaks, top. Breaks the out with the gush there. Mid lane though, we are. It's been caught out by a bit of a move from Jarex. He's trying to switch the mango in to go for a mango refraction play, but that's six seconds far too long. Get out. He wants someone to rotate because he has the Omni. It's feeling that there could be a chance to find some action mid lane. The Crepify setups there, Jax is prepared with the dust. We hide, cannot hide in the shadows. They see him every time and the tower goes down. He even is in. Top lane mind control getting bashed up by Anna and no tail. Oh my God. Another time walk available in a second. Seb running himself away from Kura again into the trees. Gets the heal up for the Omni Sash from Miracle. Will secure the kill down bottom. At the same time up top they find. Level 4 tied. And they're going to live train him down. Slows there with a stroke of fate. We'll be able to crack his shell up. But Jax with. Pixel perfect body blocking there. Well, I say that. Miracle's gonna come up with a blade through. They punish Jarex for it. They do lose mind control. This is getting pretty out of control already. A 5k advantage. They're fighting Miracle. Thompson is gonna get stunned up. And the Miracle has got the Blade Fury in the Omni Slash to play around with. Soulbind's gonna lock the two of them down together as No Tail's looking to turn. Moves in with the, the Inkling. Silence the Dark oh! Ray. Both dead. The Ravage comes out. But they've already lost the two of them. They'll get No Tail in response. But now OG, they can turn and collapse onto Mind Control, surrounding the tide. Jarex and Thompson, Seb, they're not going to stop chasing this. A trap slow will come out. It doesn't matter. Thompson, another decrepify blast, secures him the triple kill. He's oh, gone for another. Oh, they're not done yet, OG. GH, he's got the stolen ink swell. They'll keep that distance. Jarex closes the gap. GH is enchanted, taken out. Ultra kill for Thompson. 11 minutes in. There is nothing that can stop this man. The top, the Thompson Pugna was always going to be left in. They've got to kill him. They've got to do something about it. They'll surround him. They've got the Blade Fury. They have got the stun. Thompson falling low. Put the stick charge. Tries to stab with the light driver. They kill him off. Big kill here for Liquid. Can they get more? If he wants to pop the Chrono for this, he will. There's three heroes. He's thinking about it. The shrine has been used. They're healing up. And they're trying to find the perfect angle. No Tails coming in with the wrap around. Mike Control's back in. No Ravage though. Toss over. Keeping them bunched together. Anna. He's still trying to, to see if he can find that perfect opportunity. He may not even need it. The Phantom Embrace. It's on Mind Control. The output of the damage for Seb's impetus is too much for Mike Control to withstand. And they There's the catch. They'll get Miracle separated. He's shot down. He's silent stuff. He did get the Blade Fury off. But the Soul Mind Control with the impetus is far too much for him to deal with. As OG. Oh my god, they keep looking for more. So they're just giving us the repeat of game two. In the same exact area, at the same exact time. Everybody on the side of OG is farming perfectly fine, and they have Midas's. 
I mean, Miracle. He walks into lane. He well nearly died immediately to the combo. Derek, he did the control on Thompson. Again, the straight with a four line right avalanche for Jarex. Takes him out. My control. Pause the ravage. Have they got the damage to finish these two off? Thompson's they don't. still alive. He's able to back off. And now again, Indian the rest of OG's turns up. Sets in the neighborhood. Toss over for Jarex. Kuro and GHP focus the X well on Jarex. Does it hit Kuro? It doesn't matter. No tell. Has the stroke of fate and it's enough alone. Jarex just waiting there in position. They even have an ops. They even put down a sentry to take out Liquid's vision too. Liquid has no, light, no vision of these back lines now. And they're taking the racks. Absolutely perfect. 18 minutes in. My God. This is unbelievable. Two games in a row. But OG is just giving us the showcase of their lifetime. It's been like six or seven minutes since Liquid has been able to even find a kill. It's been GH just out of... It would GH has been the one getting them, but it's not even these big ones because, like we said, they can't even get aggressive onto the map at all. As Seb just continues to stand in the base, he's a bit far forward here. If you get the multicast, Banner's gonna come in with a backup. They to grab a fight, keeping Seb safe. They'll pop the Ravage, they're trying to get on top of the least someone. They'll find no tail. Anna's surrounded, he still has the grow. He gets the three of them. Tops is able to turn with the life drain. Miracle's there. My control toss back into the Corona, making it a beautiful four man. Double kill for Thompson. He'll start to run them down one by one, pushing Liquid back towards the fountain. They've got a rod of Atos on Seb now as well. Mike Troll, find the jump group with the Ravage. We hide it as well. Do they have the damage guy? Time they do. They kill on Thompson. There's a lot of money going the way of Kuroki though. Can they get more out of this Omni Slash? Bouncing around Jarek. A buyback comes out for Thompson. He wants to rejoin the fight. As OG turns, they'll get one. Chrono. There's the setup again. Anna with a three man Chrono catches them all. Double kill for Anna. The top up disabled. Taking down Miracle. The Phantom embraces on Kuroki. They'll chase him up to the base. Triple kill for Anna. Two buybacks to come out from Liquid. But no Tide or Juggernaut available to offer their services for this defense. And they've already used everything. The Tide and a Ravage, Jug Omni. I mean, they, they got Thompson. They but got that, him, but he's back. That was it. They'll get another jump in, Mind Control, trying to commit. Jarrett's just turns with the Toss Avalanche combo. Mind Control out of the game once more. We are trying to jump in, find at least Thompson, but he's not going to get it. OG surround him, outnumber them, a toss up. Back to the grave, GH is dead, GG is called cool. OG take game three and Derek Sending it to even in a more devastating fashion than game two. It didn't look like it could get any worse for Liquid after that second game, but I think it just did. The bristle gyro lane is actually decent for the bristle. Okay. So it's not gonna be a Templar Assassin, but we'll go to another Wee Hawk classic. It would be the Wind Ranger. We'll see that pressure amped up even more. Jax is gonna come not down. Now turn this duo into a trial lane from OG as Kuro pops the fire fire, won't save him. Miss Carl from No-Tail gets the kill. Now Anna's gonna be the focus. Miracle and GH trying to get on top of him, but a quick body block from No-Tail. And it seems to be the focus for Liquid. They've left Miracle alone. They're trying to collapse in onto Thompson. Thompson, he gets the cooldown off, but the Hellbear smashes in with the clap. Liquid making these moves around Kuro and his army. The change. GH and Kuroki, they're looking towards Seb. Gonna bring in Weehar as well. Weehar. The focus fire, have they got the control? There's the rolling with the stun, shackle shot follow up for we are along with the power shot, will do it. Oh, and you gotta be careful as well. Anna, he's jungling in the area, so he can just easily tether and pop. I don't know if you guys you did the overcharge there and it gets to the end of it, but he can easily tether and even get a little bit of extra HP regen that comes into play. Looking for Jerex. Jerex again. Commending with the magnetized TPs will now start to come into play. Thompson's here, Jarek still alive, they're trying their best to hunt him down through the trees, he'll be able to toss back the Hellbase Smasher, Rock is dropped to keep the Magnetize going, they'll get the kill on Jarek's. See if they can find anything in return, OG Thompson, he's on top of Kuroki, GH, we are, we are joining the gang, they're surrounding Thompson with a divine favor, bring it, we are in Liquid, they're gonna be able to get both of them. Try to brawl again at the same time as last game. It's 13 minutes in and there's nine heroes or eight heroes positioned around this area. They wanna go for no tail, but he's got ulti. Miracle's gonna continue to chase this under the titular and they will get it. Seb is trying to turn, the missile is out on the courage. Does Seb have the burst? Not quite. Magnetizes out and Seb has to retreat. Shackle does latch Liquid. They've got the lockdown, they've got the roll for the kickback, they'll Got crush him. It's Liquid, they're diving again. They want top. They got a bit of a flavor of how OG was playing in these last two games and they're saying we could do it too. Thompson past the cooldown. And we know this the timing is all about just waiting for Io to get not only Aghanims, but get that level 15 talent. That's what Seb. OG wants. He's diving in. Onto Kuro with the flak as well. And the god will not keep Chen alive today. GH. Will not 
Jack gets TP'd out. Jack actually TP's in. And then ignore and look for the more volatile kills. And he's acting as this like, super frontliner. And Bristleback is yeah. a hero that if you don't have mana, you don't have damage. So if he's just going to be burning the Bristle, I, I can see yeah. it. You know, I can see it. And he's super farmed. And look how tanky he is. 2,000 HP on the gyro. There's going to be an MKB finish now for Weeha. So his damage is going to be very high as Seb's getting slowed down. He's got Grease available, but he's getting burst. I mean, they're bringing him low. Oh, he's got the shield. Now they'll be able to turn. Cooldown's dropped down by Thompson. And here we Where's have it. Mana? Miracle. His mana's gone. He's able to pop the stick, get him a fair bit of it back. And he's able to head back in, pushing OG back behind the racks. They're getting a good amount of damage onto this tier 3 tower liquid. They push on. On Io. That spirit hero damage is there now. But Ana going to join the fray finally. There we have it. Miracle's mana. It's pretty much entirely gone by Thompson's focus. He'll look for what GH is. He's trying to off, but he can't get out. There's no mana. GH, he's dead. And now OG, they have that numbers advantage for this defense. They'll try and change the ball. Thompson, they're working for Ike. Brings Miracle down. Then the Jack will turn around. They're looking for Jarek. Jarek's backing away. Thompson focusing Miracle. Miracle's still out of mana because of this diffusion. Jarek, Jarek, he's able to cover the GA. is out. We all will fall, though. The magic damage is there for Thompson. Miracle's trying to run. Another stick charge pop, but Jarex can shut him off. In fact, Jarex, he's ready to try and look for more, potentially. There's only the ones. To go to the back line. Thompson, he's on top of Kuro. Another cooldown there. The toss back into the combo. Jarex oh has the control. God. They're all getting picked apart as my control falls. Miracle is surrounded. And they're all able to get this as well. OG, they will hold. As and they're even taunting him. They toss him to the dragon. And it's back completely the other way. And it feels like... The control is just gone. Like, what, what do you, what do, you do so well. when your man is gone? What do you do? At this incredibly late moment in the tournament. And now Thompson has an Agonyms as well. So not only is his regular hits going to be proccing that. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be burning a lot of mana. And then just moving into the base now, OG. They're pushing in. Flag starts to force the quit back. They'll focus Miracle. Miracle. He'll get himself he's out and away. The missile is out. The tripod the heals to save him. But Miracle's dead. He's still doesn't have Jarek is in with the combo, they'll break down GH! GH has buyback, he'll buy back immediately. Weehaw's gonna be back up in five. Fortification is part, but OG, they're not going away. They're too healthy, they still have greens available for Seb as well this whole time. They're, they're pretty, like, no tail's kinda low, but once they pop those greens, everyone's gonna be topped off. A tier three's going down, 22 minutes again, and in a match where it looked like Liquid had the pace oh to maybe God. bring something different, but we're back to the same place that we were in game two and game three. His team fight potential, and he's pretty much the only team fighter on the side of Liquid right now, is just not there. I know she's ready to go back. back and again. Jarek's in with the wrap around the combo down onto Mind Control, the cooldown's there, Liquid out to back off. Again, Mind Control's mana pretty much got he's able to pop the stick, get the GA off at least. Can they fight for the duration of it though? They're getting towards Seb. Reels apart. Sends back pretty much up to four. Jags in with a double combo onto We Are. We Are stand up. We Are dead. Miracles the new focus. The missile follow through. OG pushing Liquid back to the base. My control out of out of Thompson. Will it defuse the blade? Picking them apart. Roll four for GH for Seb. Cuts him down. Roll four. Double kill. They're pushing on OG. Liquid getting forced back to the base. Does Liquid have nothing? They have nothing to offer for. Look at this, they're diving fountain and TI finals. They want Karoki in the fountain as well. They're gonna get it, they're chasing Miracle as well. Oh my god, I can't believe this. I can't believe what we're seeing in this game for OG. You thought you saw it all against you, you thought you saw it all against you. There it is, gone. OG, I are two time TI champions. They've done it, folks. They absolutely can. Innovators, magicians. Bringing something new to the game, and when it counts the most in the grand finals, game one was shaky. We had a bit of fun. Game two, three, and four, they played their hearts out for every single minute of the matches. OG, the best team of all time, and with this, their second TI win, and not just the second TI win, but the second back to back. They do it two years in a row. There is no question that we are witnessing the best team of all time. I'm, I'm at a loss of words from the way that they played this. It was just an absolute beatdown. They just, they're just way too good at Dota. For all of our previous champions. And here in 2019, the International 2019, OG are the ones to do it first. The two time. TI Champions OG, ladies and gentlemen. What this team has shown us in this entire run, in these two years, and now in the Grand Finals. Ladies and gentlemen, it's OG!